Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mile Man. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Nintendo Direct that was just announced. It's going to be um, September 23rd at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, I, I'm interested to see what, what's going to happen. Um, we were expecting this because there's a declassification about a Nintendo controller at the um, end of this week and some people are saying it's going to be like an n64 controller or a specialized game boy controller or we don't even know exactly i have my idea of what it might be uh, we do know that it will not have nfc built into it so it's going to have to have something else in that area or be similar to the super nintendo and nes controllers that they already produced anywho <laughs> here's my take on all this um I suspect that we're going to see some trailers. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I got a list. I'm going to go right down through it. We're just going to go bing, bada, bing, bada, boom, and get this out real quick. <laughs> so, um, I expect to see a trailer for Bayonetta 3. Um, I expect to see a trailer for Silk Song, if not a drop. I expect to see a Splatoon 3 release date and a new trailer, which introduces the new Idol group. Which I think is going to be similar to like a BTS type thing. I mean, we've had all female groups before. I think it's time we already had one that was a mixed group. I think we're going to see that. So, some kind of BTS type thing. But squids and kids. So, squid TS. Anywho, um, I think we're also going to get a reveal for Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD. Which I think is going to release... Re sorry, going to reveal... Or rather, get us to the name for Breath of the Wild 2. Because the name of Breath of the Wild 2 has to do with Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess. I think that that's why they've held off of naming it. Because of that. So, we're going to get that. And um, the, uh, the Twilight Princess that's coming to the Nintendo Switch will of course work with your, with your original Amiibo. And uh, we'll see what they do with um, adding Amiibo support to Wind Waker. So, um, I also expect us to see Game Boy added to NSO. That's Nintendo Switch Online. I think the new Joy-Cons are going to have additional cameras. Um, you're going to have a Joy-Con that's a little weird looking, but um, you're adding a left camera on the left Joy-Con that faces down, <laughs> similar to the right one. And you're going to have an additional camera that faces forward. So, the new one's going to add three cameras. There's going to be... Uh, a camera on both Joy Cons on the um, that faces forward, and on a camera on both Joy Cons that faces down. And the reason for that is that those are going to measure distance because they're going to be using those specifically for better motion tracking, and also because I think they're going to double down on some of the VR stuff. And I think one of the things that they're going to do for that is it's going to be an original title. Um, and we're going to see some older titles that had 3D support get improved 3D support. And some upcoming ones, specifically Breath of the Wild 2, which will have like the 3D VR support again. Anyways, I also expect to see Persona 4 Golden, or at least a port of Persona 1, on the uh, Nintendo Switch. As well as Zero Escape Trilogy. Always going to say that until it comes true. I think we're getting a stealth, ro stealth drop for Deltarune Chapter 2. We might get a port of Xenoblade Chronicles X. I'm, I'm thinking we might. I think we'll get an announcement, like a one more thing for Astral Chain 2. I think uh, we're going to get the Castlevania Advanced Collection finally um, revealed, as well as the Alan Wake one, which will get a proper trailer. Um, the le we're going to get some. Uh, you get legends added to previous Castlevania collection. Cuphead DLC will drop. We're going to have Crash Bandicoot and Smash, and then we're going to final Metroid trailer with Trilogy and a Prime 4 tease. Um, we're going to get some actual gameplay for, for Prime 4 and a summer release for Prime 4. But, yeah, I know this is supposed to be winter-only stuff, but I think they're going to put some 2022 stuff in there. Because I have a feeling that Bayonetta is in February for Valentine's Day. Hmm. A Valentine's Day massacre with Bayonetta. Hmm. Anywho, that's my take on it. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> probably very, very wrong. But, eh, it's just speculation. We want to get this out real quick. 
So thank you for sticking through this. Thank you for sitting through it. What do you think is going to happen on the direct? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.